I welcome. I am the Monkey King, the Moonshin King, the Boo Coo Coo. However, I know nothing about uh, Blackpink. I've reacted to one song ever, the first I did ever heard, and I've forgotten what song it was. I've forgotten how it goes. I think I've forgotten everything about it. I have been listening to so much, reacting to so much K-pop recently. Everything meshes together. Cannot differentiate one from the other right now. But once I listen to more and more, then I'll be able to be familiarize myself with who is who and what is what. However, I'm pretty sure I enjoyed it. So, this was requested. Blackpink to 888 and beyond. I'm guessing 888 is the name of one of their songs. Potentially. I'm guessing. Uh, fan-made documentary 2016-2017. And as you can see here, let me tell you about a story of four young girls chasing a dream. Ah! Most of us don't catch our dreams Sadly, we are failures in life and in death and birth. Never forget your birth. So, I'm intrigued to learn about uh, this this group, what they stand for, what they've gone through, what they hope to be. Wouldn't you? So, if I'd probably do this in two parts since it's 20 minutes, uh, 10 minutes each. If you don't want a second part, then don't comment. If you do want a second part, then subscribe and comment that you want a second part. And anything else you'd like to hear uh, Blackpink-wise or otherwise. So, let's go. I'm near 200. That will be a great achievement for you. Young girls chasing a dream. The first one studied abroad in New Zealand, mm. born on 16th of January 1996. Nice. She decided to leave New Zealand behind and return to South Korea. Where did she decide or did her parents decide? How old was she in 08? Into the YG audition, she would have been 12. She does not look 12. Oh, 2010. Ah, so she would have been uh, 14. Mm. Where years of training would await her. But slowly, surely, South Korea would get familiar with her. She is known as Jenny Kim. I'm expecting lots the of hard work from you. Residing in Thailand would play a part mm. in this play as Thailand. Well. A girl with exceptional dancing talent. Cool! Born on the Whoa! Of March in 1997, Very flexible woman. A dance group. After auditioning, she was the first foreign rapper to be part of the YG company. Her name is Lalisa Manaban, but others know her as Lisa. Lisa! The one was a girl it's from your South birthday. Korea. She is the oldest of the group born in 1995 on the 3rd of January, but her high cheerful spirit could indicate she might as well be the youngest of the group. <laughs> it's not that difference between 95 and 96. Not that different. Anyway. Her beauty was so captivating, she featured in commercials and music videos before she started her own adventure. Wow, I'm looking down at what's Your going on. What is this from down here? Commercials and music that looks very cool. Like a Marvel movie. Her own adventure. You'll remember her by the name, Kim Ji Soo. You'd find the last... I'm more likely to remember... Yes, yeah, Lisa. She by the name. She was born February 11th, 1997. Mm-hmm. It was her father who encouraged her to audition for YG and let her talent flourish. She was very lucky to have an encouraging father. Most of us have very deceitful parents for sure. They hinder you, they stop you, they prevent you. They don't let you expand, they don't let you discover, they don't let you flourish. But here we are. She 400, 400 contestants. contestants and made her way back over to South Korea where she'd formed the last member of the group. Her real name is Park Shin Young, but on stage she will be known as Rose. Rose. The group that went by many names. 
What's wrong with her original name? Does she like to drink lots of rosé? Is that the reasoning? Names at first. Pink Punk. Baby Ooh, Monster, that's a nice name. Pink the Punk. Final name would be Black Pink in your area. Why? Why is that Black their name? Pink in your area. Explanation, please. <laughs> SNSD like, what does that mean? Is there a group called SNSD that I'm not aware of? I believe it will be possible to produce a new group within two years. Hmm. I believe it will be possible to produce a new group within two years. This was in uh, July 2011. YG Entertainment currently hosts about 30 trainees and he plans on debuting a few rookie groups towards mid-year 2012. One of which being the YG SNSD. He assures however that the groups will be different from anything YG has ever done. That's good, that's very good. Uniqueness, invention, innovation, genius, creativity, and stardom. For me. One day, one day. Talks future plans, new boy band and girl group to debut next year. What was the boy band? Um, the CEO said YGE has 32 trainees right now. The new Does trainees mean uh, people they're training to be pop stars? Is that what that means? Like a school? The new girl group will only be comprised of members under 20 years old. DISCRIMINATION! For sure. And they're scheduled to debut AGEISM to debut in the first half of next year. The new boy group, however, will be revealed in the second half of 2012. Who was this uh, boy group? Tell me if you know. Is it someone I've reacted to already? Or someone new? I'd want to hear if there's someone new. Debut Sue Pearls and New Girl Group. YG Entertainment debuting New Girl Group in November. This summer. Oh, what's happening? All the years are passing by. Blackpink to debut on August 8th. Okay, 2016, finally. I don't know. Wait, I'll read that. Jenny joined YG in August 2010, a year before Lisa, April 2011, and Jisoo, July 2011 did. She trained for approximately 6 years before she got to debut. Hmm. <laughs> She is emotional for sure. She must have gone through a lot of a uh, frustration and uh, heartache. And uh, the key for you is to be very determined. And never give up your crimes. I think, at least. Jenny C, you debuted five years later just after introduced as YG Girl Group member, right? Ha ha. Yes, that's right. I think I had a hard time with debut matter. That time I thought we would really debut whenever I looked on that teasers. And few articles published month by month passed by. It became five years already. The responsibility begins to draw. It was delayed for years. <laughs> How? What was the meaning? Preparation. Oh. 
And here's the debut, is it? This is not that song. Whose song is this? I heard this song. This is Rihanna. Very smooth dancers. Finally, a mini album. Mini! Six years for a mini album. Here they are. At last, your time to shine. Three weekly packs, what's a pack? 21 hourly packs, what's a pack? Basically the point is, they are very successful and winning great things. Selfie stick! That's very quiet, is it quiet for you? Wow. Congratulations to you. <laughs> what a feeling that must be. To finally get what you seek for so long. <laughs> Ooh, what's the name of that move when you slide on your back? Age old classic. <laughs> Yes, very lucky are you. You must strive. You must strive for sure. Never surrender your crimes. Roller coaster for you. Mm. Who are these guys? Victon, Buyong Chan. Akmu. I don't know what's going on. Wow. Very professional are you now? On uh, covers. Is this for a magazine? First commercial film. Ah, a commercial. Why can't I be in a commercial? Where are you? Come back! Second album. Wait, what did that say? Um, heaven. Heaven is a place where nothing ever happens. Stop trying to put people off going to heaven. Very naughty of you. Dance with me, I wish you were here. Square 2. Ah, I get it. Because there's a famous phrase called back to square 1. Meaning you go back to the beginning. So square 2 means... The first album was the square 1. Metaphorically. I'm not sure what that album was called. But now it's square 2. The second... Uh, 
milestone, the second step in their career. Who is this guy? Not her, I mean the person she was hugging. Oops, sorry. <laughs> You like hugging the guy. So many victories! Victory! We have victory! Wow, look at that staging! Extraordinary scene! Very colorful. Oh, has the music stopped? Alright, that's on 10 minutes exactly, so... Very interesting to me. I enjoy to see you. What crimes are committed. They clearly struggled to get their success for many years. I suppose many people do struggle for many years, but in this case it must have been very disheartening because they were expecting it a lot sooner and it kept getting delayed and delayed. And when things get delayed from people very powerful, you're going to think that they might not want you anymore, that you're no longer priority if you ever were, and your chances are slipping away. They're going to forget you eventually, cut the cord, so to speak. But luckily, that was not the case. They strived through for you. I'm not sure how many albums they've done, but we're up to number two. So, and now they are great successes, and I am reacting to their music. Which makes you realize how how successful they are. If I am hearing their music, you know you're doing something right. So, if you want a part 2, please remember to uh, subscribe, like this video, and comment. Tell me, tell me what to do to you, wouldn't you? Tell me your thoughts, show me your crimes. Do subscribe to my gaming channel, link down below. The Moonshin Plays. And remember, CHOMP! Oh wait, I said this. Farewell, my munchins. Take care, my uh, munchins. <laughs> ah! <laughs>